everybody. I'm Alice K. Ruckelhouse from Suffering Well. I'm trying to slow down. I'm recording video after video after video today. I drank two energy drinks. <laughs> so I know that I'm talking really fast in some of the videos. If you need um, if you need to know how to slow those videos down, let me know in the comments below. I did a video on my other channel about that. I can do one for this here too, because I do tend to talk really fast. So um, especially when I know that I'm trying to make a video short and I have a lot of information. So um, yeah, two, two energy drinks in one day, not a good idea. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you today about classes that we offer. And um, that, that's, that's a big part of Suffering Wells Ministry is offering classes. And what we do in those classes is we give you a foundation for how to suffer well, which involves glorifying God and serving others. But um, we give you the foundations, the scriptural and um, devotional practices that can help you with those. Uh, we give you specifics about what it means to suffer well, about how to suffer well. And there's lots of different ways to do that, uh, as well as a number of other topics, which I'm going to read you some of our topics um, in a moment. We have taught, we're a new ministry, by the way. We just started, um, I think, like December. And uh, we offered our first class in Lent of this year, 2023. And that class was a seven week class on the Stations of the Cross. So in that class, we focused on each of the Stations of the Cross and the first three sorrowful mysteries, which lead up to the Stations of the Cross. And specifically just to appreciate Jesus suffering, because sometimes that just becomes kind of cliche to us and we don't want that to happen, but also to kind of learn from his suffering how we should suffer and how we should go about handling our suffering in order to glorify God the most and to serve others through our suffering. Uh, there were a couple of other things, though, that we try to teach in that particular class. One of those is the practice of contemplation. And so we we teach about what contemplation is, what it isn't, and some different methods for bringing contemplation into your life. And the reason that we taught that in that particular class, besides just the fact that we wanted to get it out there and have people learning how to use this really awesome devotional practice, but that went really, really well with the Stations of the Cross because it helped us to enter into understanding Jesus' suffering and feeling more about what that meant and how <clears throat> how we could draw closer to God through that. Um in the class that we're actually teaching right now at the time of this recording, which is in June, and it'll go through July, and I think right into the first part of August um, of 2023, is about divine mercy and God's school of trust. So that class is actually based on a series of videos that Father Michael Gately has put together that are just wonderful. We'll be writing most of our own classes, so it'll be original material, but this one we just felt was foundational for what we're doing. And so we wanted to share that with people. Um, if you missed those classes, we will almost certainly offer those again. Uh, but, you know, we have 20 classes planned so far, <laughs> and I'm sure that we'll have more too. Um, so obviously we can't do all of those every year. It'll take us a few years to even just get all of those taught for the first time, get the materials written for them. We put together uh, workbooks for the classes that we write ourselves. And um, so we're also looking for people to help teach these classes after we've taught them a couple of times. So you'll be hopefully seeing other, other teachers um, doing this as well. And most of the classes we really believe um, people can benefit from taking them more than once because, you know what I have found, you guys, when I um, learn about something, especially something that has to do with God's word or with our relationship with God, every time that you read that book or take that class or whatever, you get more out of it. So we're hoping that people will take these classes multiple times. They're free. So um, yeah, I mean, why not, right? <laughs> so especially if you want to grow closer to God, if you want to learn how to glorify him with your suffering and how to serve people with your suffering in a really, really big way, that's what this is all about. 
Um, so we invite you to kind of watch for those classes because we'll always announce them on our YouTube channel. And we'll usually have some videos leading up to the classes that will kind of give you an idea either of what we're going to be teaching or why you would benefit from that. So I'm not going to read you all the classes that we're planning, but I just want to read you some of the ones that we have planned uh, for the future. Um, we're going to be talking about the sacrament of reconciliation, which is confession and penance. And um, that's something that I think both Catholics and Protestants can benefit from this class and understanding more about it. A lot of people really dread going to the sacrament of confession. It's one of my favorites, actually. <laughs> After the Eucharist, it's my favorite. Um, so, so we'll be sharing with you why this is such a wonderful, wonderful thing and how to how to get the most out of, it, out of it. That sounds kind of selfish, I guess, but this is a sacrament that God's provided for us that helps us so much. And it just, it, I guess, quote unquote, benefits God too, because it draws us closer to him and helps us to have that really deep relationship with God. Um, another one that we'll be talking about is uniting our suffering with Christ. We have kind of a Working title on that, The Alchemy Machine, Little Ways to Turn Our Suffering into Gold. Um, so be watching for that. Preparation for Persecution and Martyrdom. We're actually have, hoping to have some help with um, with teaching that class by somebody who is um, involved with the persecuted church in other countries. Uh, building our faith because faith is super, super important to suffering well. and um, so we have a lot of ways that we can suggest for building our faith. Um, yeah. And, and just, and learning to obey God more, the more faith you have, the more you can obey God. Uh, we are hoping to write some curriculum for children uh, because, well, yeah, because <laughs> the more you can learn at a younger age, you guys, the, the easier it is um, trying to wrap your head around things like suffering well as an adult. I mean, I was 60 years old before I ever even heard of that concept. Um, it, it can be very difficult. And so the more we teach our children, the holier their lives will be, the more devoted to God they'll have the opportunity to be. So we're hoping to offer some children's classes. Um, we have one that we're planning to do on Psalm 139 and suffering. Look that Psalm of, it's of course the whole Bible is awesome, you guys, but Psalm 139 is one of my favorites. Um, Celebration of Discipline, that will be based on a book by Richard Foster, which I have found very, very helpful. I read it my freshman year of college, so I've been reading it for about 40 years, and there are aspects of it that it's it's just really, really influenced my life, and so we're looking forward to sharing that with you. Um, the power of preemptive, I'm not going to say the word that we have here because it's not the one that we want to stick with, but ways to preempt sin. So in other words, to cut it off before we actually fall into sin and um, and dealing with temptations. So those are just some of the classes that we're hoping to offer. And if you have questions or ideas of things that you would like classes about that have to do with suffering well, um, we would really appreciate hearing from you so that we know what would be the most helpful to you. All right. I love you all. Um, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.